All right, let's do a quick video on how to... Let's find out how to stabilize some wood. But this is what you need. There's quite a bit involved. Just got a fresh batch of cactus juice. So first thing that I'm gonna have to do is activate it. Right now it is uh, in two pieces or two parts. Safety glasses because I don't want to get any of this in my eyes. You can see, oh yeah, there's lots of pressure there. And I'm gonna cut it away from myself. And yeah, if I wasn't wearing my glasses and I didn't know, I would be wondering how toxic is this uh, to my eyes. Heat activated epoxy. So you can consider it almost like a one part of epoxy. Um, although you can see me putting in a second part. Let's have some chunks floating around in there and I want those dissolved. So I let it go overnight. Everything has dissolved and I'll be able to use this. But last time I used it, I didn't have a proper gasket. So I ordered some stuff off Amazon. When it's thick, 12 by 24, 60 Juro Buto. Meh, I don't know. It's what I bought anyway. All right, I'm gonna cut this out and uh, it's gonna go here between this and the cactus juice is going in here. The wood also going in here. Maybe some weights on it. And then I need to turn on the pump and uh, slowly increase the pressure because it'll bubble up a little bit, watch it a little bit, and then I'll be able to crank up the vacuum. Leaving room there so that when I add the wood, it has space to uh, rise up. And uh, check this out, gasket. So if you're gonna buy a sheet of uh, plexiglass like that, go online, find a plastic, um, I don't know, not a manufacturer, but like a distributor. Um, this was just on their scrap pile. It was really cheap. Um, if you go to like Home Depot or something, you're gonna pay through the nose for it. Um, I, if you're in Winnipeg, Johnson's Plastics is who I used and uh, they're awesome to work with though. So, so, go there. Because they are very dry on top of everything. I hope I didn't put too much in there. Then I've got some, some weights. It's okay. I don't know if it would even affect. There we go. So it's completely submerged. So you can see it foaming over. That's bubbles. Uh, Escaping from the wood. Oh, that container on the bottom works well. It's dripping into it. And bubbles. Bubbles form. All right, so we're at a point where we're pretty much at max uh, suction. That I understand. Well, bubbles are no longer forming. So right now, instead of it filling up all the voids, it's, it's pulling itself into the wood. So once it's under vacuum, you're gonna want it to stay in there for as um, long as you can. You wanna keep it in there, 24 if you can. So I just unplugged the machine. Now I'm going to release the pressure. Point four. Doubled in weight. Pretty cool. All right. Gonna wrap these guys up. So the aluminum will stick. These things are highly inaccurate. So it's good to have some uh, some proper. These have been in here for three hours. Let right. me. Hot. 
All right, let's check these out. Ah, uh, they're warm, very, very warm. Definitely sound different. Wow. I'll probably just post some pictures of my knife on Instagram. So it's getting this. Uh, some padoke. Check out what I did on Instagram, Rainy Day Forge, and uh, write me a message on that post or write me a message down below. Peace.